Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Professor Shridhar Ayer and I would like to introduce you all to this new playlist where I would be focusing on short video lectures on each and every topics from the syllabus. So basically I'm going to focus on this subject from Department of Computer Engineering, Mumbai University which is called as Cryptography and System Security. You will get the same topics in the subject Cryptography and Network Security from the Department of Information Technology. So this particular video playlist will be helpful for both the subjects. So what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to break each and every topic of the syllabus into short videos where I would be focusing on each and every aspect of those individual topics. So uh, these videos are going to be short as compared to my complete lecture video series where I constantly upload all my online live lectures on my playlist. If you, if you want to know the details of those playlists, you can kindly check the link on top. So without wasting much time, let's get started with our very first uh, topic which is security goals and these uh, videos are going to be both in Hindi as well as English in between I would be using uh, Hindi as well so as just to make the understanding better. So let's see what exactly uh, we mean with this particular term that is what we call as goals of security. So goals of security are nothing but uh, the objectives of any security system. In short, there are three goals of security, which is what we call as CINA. This is nothing but stands for confidentiality, integrity and availability. So our very first goal is what is confidentiality? So basically, if you are sending some data from one place to the other place, you have to make sure that the data is not being seen by any other person except those who are intended to see it. For example, if you data from one place to the other place, then you to make sure that you have 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 to make This is what we call as confidentiality. So that is what is defined over here. As you can see in this diagram, this diagram clearly it is evident that there is a subject, there is a mode of access and there is an object. As you can see, we need to have certain policies. Kuch hume aise policies set karne padenge, using which we can make sure that who has got access to what data and how he or she can access that data. It simply means uh, you have to make a policy using which you can dictate the terms that this particular user can access this particular data using either read, write or execute mode. It's very simple. So, for example, if you have a person who wants to access this computer, then first of all, you have to check his access rights. That person has to access that particular object access ke, uh, liye suitable hai ya nahi. So, if that person is not in a position to access that data, if that person doesn't have access rights of that data, then that person will be denied the access rights. This is what we call as confidentiality. But what happens if your data is not confidential enough? In that situation, if an attacker gets access to your data, he or she can read the contents of that data. And that defeats the purpose of confidentiality or that defeats the goal of security, which is what we call as confidentiality, right? So let us discuss about what are the various threats to confidentiality. There are in general two threats to confidentiality, that is interception and sniffing. When an attacker tries to come in between the communication channel, for example, if there is a communication channel between A and B where this is nothing but the internet and suppose there is an attacker Charlie who comes in between then what happens whatever data Alice is sending to Bob that is now being read by Charlie so it entirely defeats the purpose of confidentiality that is what we call as threat to confidentiality similar to that we have one more uh, method of attack which is what we call as sniffing so if Charlie comes in between the communications silently without revealing himself or herself, but pure ka pure communication ko wo read kar raha hai, then what happens? Alice and Bob will not come to know of the presence of Charlie and Charlie will still be sniffing all the data from the communication medium. That is what we call as sniffing or in short traffic sniffing. That is what we call as confidentiality. Next up, we are having integrity. Now, what is integrity? For example, Alice sends 500 rupees to Bob, but somehow when Bob receives the message, it is interpreted as 50 rupees. So what happens? Originally, Alice had sent 500 rupees to Bob, but during the communication, some 
attacker Charlie came in, in between the communication and changed 500 rupees to 50 rupees and kept the rest of the 450 rupees with himself. So what happens? This is basically what we call as threat to integrity. That is either fabrication or modification. तो इसका सिंपल मीनिंग ये है कि इफ अगर आप एक डेटा भेज रहे हो एक प्लेस से दूसरे प्लेस तक दैट डेटा शुड गो एज इट इज विदाउट एनी चेंजेस सो बेसिकली जो डेटा आप एक पॉइंट से भेज रहे हो सेम टू सेम वही डेटा एंड पॉइंट तक पहुंचना चाहिए इफ एनी चेंजेस हैपन इन बिटवीन इट इज सिंपली एन अटैक टू अटैक टू इंटीग्रिटी और थ्रेट टू इंटीग्रिटी हाउ टू एंश्योर दैट योर डेटा इज स्टिल इंटीग्रल हाउ टू मेक श्योर दैट योर डेटा हैज नॉट बीन टैम्पर्ड और चेंज we simply make use of hashing as a technique as one of the techniques just understand that we can make make use of either md5 sha tiger hash or any other hash algorithm if the hash values at the source and at the destination are different then we can simply make a uh, make a conclusion that the data has been tampered it's as simple as that so let's continue with our next topic that is availability so basically availability is nothing but if you if you are entitled to access a data if you have the rights to access a data that data should be available to you at all point of time 24/7 because otherwise uh, for example if you are communicating if you are having an online transaction through a bank and in between the communication you get a message that you can't access this site okay then what happens you are entitled to access that site but still you are not getting the services from that website that is what we call as a threat to availability or in short you you have access to certain resources but you are not able to access those resources because of some unknown reasons network failure is a totally different thing maintenance of the website is a totally different thing that can happen in between but even if everything is looking smooth if even if everything is uh, looking fine but still if you are not getting access to it it might be a threat to availability that generally happens with dos attacks yes or no dos attacks are basically denial of service attacks so if you have access to a particular resource but still you are not able to access the resource then it is what we call as denial of service attack so ultimately to sum up this lecture goals of security are of three types that is c i n a that is confidentiality integrity and availability and this particular portion you see over here this is what we call as an optimum security model so yahan pe jo teenon ka combination hoga that is nothing but what we aim for so as a software developer as a web application developer from the security point of view we would like to make sure that our application is satisfying all the three goals of security that is confidentiality integrity and availability i hope this lecture was Uh, useful enough so stay tuned for the upcoming topics in this subject that is cryptography and system security thanks a lot